My name is Oluwa from Taiwo. Um, I'm from Lagos State in Nigeria, and then I play football for Missouri State. Oh, when I was in Lagos in Nigeria, then you know, every kid started without soccer because they believe like soccer is a big stuff like in Nigeria. Like every uh, every family want like want to play soccer. So with that, I really enjoy my time playing soccer. Moving to football is another game entirely. So and, and I play is like more challenging and uh, more physical than soccer, which makes me like it. He helps our team because he's, he's an explosive, hard-working football player. And I think the sky's the limit to him because when you think about him, he got injured the one year, he was in Florida one year. This is like his third year playing football. So he's got a long way to go, but he's so athletic because he grew up playing soccer. And, and that's a really good attribute to him because it shows quickness, change of direction, eye hand, eye foot coordination, all those things. So um, as he catches on to the game more, uh, the sky's gonna be limited for him. Oh, there's a camp in you know, uh, in Nigeria, then, which uh, one of the Nigerian player, and then his name is uh, Ejik Ogwaja. He is like big basketball guys, and uh, he brought out uh, some of the coach from the United States. His name is uh, Ricardo, coach Ricardo Dickinson. He saw me. He was like, "Oh, you look like a football player. If I do, you want to play football?" I said, oh, I like to play, but I don't know the rules and regulation. And he said, if I give an opportunity to come down, will you play? I said, oh, yeah, I'll play. And then I found myself, yeah, he said me to send me to transcript and stuff. And I found myself broader. Uh, when I first came down to the United States, I was playing wide receiver. I went to Nike camp combined, and I was at number five. So I don't really like when like, it's like I'm trying to bully the corners and stuff like that. And it's some like, it's gonna be on my own sides. And then I told my coach, Brian Truick, in Montverde Academy, and I said, coach, I want something different. I want like, I want physical stuff. I can play with other big guys and stuff. And I said, I'm just gonna move to Davis and head. I think Taiwo is a great human being. His character, is unblemished. I mean, here, here's a guy from another country who comes to Florida, learns football for the first time, ends up here in Missouri and not really knowing a whole lot about each other. And I think the uh, his energy, his smile has really energized our football team. Is that during the um, uh, recruiting process? As my friend who plays for Mizzou right now, Franklin Basimiri, and then Mizzou came down to look at him, and then, then I just walked in to, to the training room, and uh, the coach saw me and was like, hey, what position do you play? I said, I play defensive end. I said, okay, uh, do you want to come to Mizzou and stuff? I said, uh, I don't really know about this because I'm just still new in football. So I was like, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna ask my coach. And then I was like, okay, no problem. And then the next thing, he gave me my phone and he said, someone wants to talk to you. And the person who talked to me was Stack. And I was like, hello, you want to come to Missouri State? I have no choice. It was like, someone just talked. I said, okay, I'll come. He said, all right, we'll make a plan for you. You just come pay a bishop visit. And when I came here, I like it. It's like a big family to me. So, and I just like come in that day to Missouri State. You know what, it's kind of cool because he's really the same person. He, he came here with all the tools. His family did a great job raising him. Um, what I see him growing as is uh, more mature, more, more self-assured with the language barrier, more self-assured on the football field, and he's growing leaps and bounds as a football player because he's never played it before. My family still lived back in Nigeria, and then I hope, hopefully I'm going to see them soon. It's a big challenge because it's been like a, going to four years now and I've seen my family. And then uh, sometimes like, I uh, just like, you know, the relationship that we had from, from the beginning, you know, it's not there. And I just talk to them on WhatsApp, it's just not like physical contact anymore. We can't, I like, can't really see them, you know. Even though sometimes like, they yell, my sister yell at me, and my brothers will try to 
beat me and stuff. So I miss those stuff. I miss the time we shared together and stuff. But, but when I came here, my teammates showed me the other side. Like they they opened their hand and you know, they welcomed me like a brother, like, hey, you're part of this place, you're part of us and stuff. So I call my teammate, my brothers. So every time I'm walking, the hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? You know? So I see everybody like my brother. So it makes me more, feel more better and feel at home. You know, we talk about how we're building a family here. And in Taiwo's case, in my humble opinion, this is his family right now. You know, his family is a gazillion miles away from here. So um, I think it's very warming that we know with Coach Mort, who's coaching him, and his wife, and my wife, and how he has really embraced everything. And he's, he's embraced my daughter and, and his teammates. So I think. Deep down, this is really his family until he gets to go back to Nigeria, obviously. Coach Stack, he's just like, a, like my father. I call him Poppy every time. So uh, since the first day I, I saw him on the, on my, uh, um, the fish of my official visit, uh, he was a nice person. And I was like, he's got a great moral compass, and uh, he believes in what he stands for, and, and they're all the right things. So I think off the field, he does a great job of leadership of right and wrong doing what's right, going, being where you're supposed to be, all those kind of things. And I think as he learns the game more and, and has, feels more success with it, he's going to be a great leader on the field. Mizuch, uh, that has just changed my life because we learn every day. And with, uh, with uh, technology and stuff that I was unable to use back in Nigeria, it has really put me uh, ahead of games. So I really enjoyed that and then the way I communicate with people right now, it's more like you study people, you know people, you know how they feel and stuff like that. So it's just really giving me a, a little impact. Like that I, I know like when I go home, people are gonna say, hey, you changed. Yeah, so it's part of it.